Welcome, everyone. Today we're going to create a hydraulic ram pump and see how it works in a natural waterway. So, watch the video to the end and learn how you can create an awesome ram pump. Without further ado, we'll move into the video. Here's a list of what you need to make the ram pump. Since we're creating a three-quarter ram pump, we're going to get all these components in the same size. If you're choosing the size as one half, you may use that size for your components. Also, if you're creating the ram pump for the first time, keep the below points in your mind. Try to use two brass swing check valves instead of spring check valves. It will be easy for you to get the pump working. These are the components of the ram pump. Ball valves, swing check valves, PVC elbow, PVC tees, valve sockets, thread seal, glue, pipes, and an empty bottle. Now, we'll move into the assembling part. Now, it's time to see a trial run. When you're doing this for the first time, it's a little bit difficult to start the pump. For that, you'll have to push the waste valve downwards and let the air bubbles inside the pump go out. Probably, you'll have to do this several times. Otherwise, the waste valve might not function properly. Let's move to a natural waterway and check how the pump is working. Keep in mind that we're not going to use a long outlet. If you want, you can use an outlet pipe and lift water to a considerable height without using electricity. Also, the theory behind the working of the pump is the water hammer effect. We'll talk about that in a separate video.
Thank you very much for watching. See you in another interesting video. Stay safe until then.